Hey there guys, it's Muffin Sauce here and today we are going to be drawing koala bears. So this is my new sketchbook and I've only used one page as you can see. Uh, you also noticed that my Copic markers will bleed through to the other page. That's why I have a blank piece of white paper on the back so that it doesn't bleed through to the page behind it. So the pen that I'm using for the outline is the Pilot Touch. It's a brush sign pen. It's for signing, I guess, or calligraphy. But it works very well with the Copic. That's why I'm using this. And it's quite affordable as well. So I'm going to start with the nose of the koala. I always start with the nose because that's like the main features of the bears. And then I'll start drawing the eyes, the mouth, and the face shape. So for the ears, they have very um, fluffy like rounded ears and I like to put like little curves around it to portray the fur. So I've decided to draw koala bears today because recently there's a bushfire that is going out of control in Australia and it's not really talked about a lot. I only got to find out about this like a few days back from a news site, online news site on Facebook and all those common news sites, they don't really talk about it too and same goes for the Sumatra fire and uh, Amazon I mean the Amazon one got rather well received I mean a lot of people shared about it and actually there are a lot of fires going on that people don't know about due to climate change and sadly some people just don't see it as a problem and I don't want to go too much into it so, okay, Australia, the koalas are actually in danger because of the bushfires and they are really slow and they don't know what to do. All they know how to do is to climb up the trees, which obviously it's not a very good idea because fire burns upward and they will end up being scorched. So I decided to draw and raise more awareness of this issue, hopefully. And yeah, koalas are so cute. And I also read in the news that um, there is this border collie that was trained to sniff out injured and often koalas in Australia. And they have to assign their dog to look for koalas that are injured. So this border collie's name is Bear and I actually, I'm going to draw Bear, the border collie, in my artwork too. And he's actually um, escorting the koalas out of harm's way. Actually, they are actually his job was to bring the firefighters to any injured koalas uh, so they can save the koala. But in my illustration, I decided to make the dog lead the koala out of harm's way. Like, hey, look, it's fire. You better run out. You better go. But okay, la, they're quite slow. <laughs> I guess I've been talking too much and I haven't even drew the dog yet. And oh yeah, there's Mochi beside me. I'm helping to take care of Earth. I'm helping to take care of her for a while and she really needs a lot of attention. She's a really sweet girl. I mean as long as she's not sitting on my work, I'm fine. Oh yeah, here yeah, finally I'm drawing I'm drawing the border collie. So he doesn't have upright ears and he's like pointing at the other direction that's safe away from the fire. And the koalas are all packing up their eucalyptus leaf, their baby. And I just noticed that one of the koala looks like it's humping the other and that is not intentional at all. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be a kid-friendly site. I mean, YouTube. But, oh, talk about kid-friendly. YouTube just sent me some terms and condition thingy um, regarding their kid-friendly content or adult content. And I've decided that my content is for adults, not for kids. I mean, why can't adults draw cute stuff um, that is like childlike right just embrace your inner child or something so there's a lot of like hoo-ha going on about um, uh, should children be watching this or not watch this and things will get demonetized I don't have to worry about that yet because I not my get, I'm not earning anything from YouTube at the moment but I just want to show my artwork, do some tutorials and hopefully people from other countries will know more about muffin sauce and buy my merchandise and support what I do. I, I have plans for a Patreon page but maybe perhaps when I have more followers 
I don't want to feel like oh, um, people work every month and be so stressed out, and must do a video and and some content for Patreon supporters. So um, that's why I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> All right, so. I'm actually coloring with Copics. Copics are quite expensive and I would not recommend you to buy the whole set. It's like a few hundred dollars if you buy like a set. I only purchase the colors that I need. So I actually plan what I want before I buy and I <laughs> go down to the art store to try out the markers and choose. They are quite expensive. I'm not sure how much is it in USD but in Singapore it's about six to seven dollars for a copic marker i okay terence went to japan a month ago and i got him to buy some copics for me too and i realized that it's not that ex cheap anymore because in the past i was told that it's quite cheap in japan because it's made in japan but um not apparently not maybe not in tokyo because a lot of tourists seems to have the same idea, you know, going there to buy Copic marker. But I did buy a lot of Copic marker in Taiwan and it's a lot cheaper than Japan, strangely. I got it for like $4 a marker instead of seeing $6. So I managed to get a lot then, but uh, if they run out of ink, I have to buy it locally, obviously. And I'll be reviewing some markers that are made in China soon. I already bought them, but I haven't got down to creating more videos yet. I've been sick for about two months and sad to say I'm suffering from anxiety and it's causing my hands to tremble and it's a problem for me because I'm an artist. But no worries, I'm getting a lot better now. I've I've seen uh, another doctor that is uh, much better and he is helping to solve the problem. And yeah. So here I am drawing the fires. I actually did like three shades of red and orange for the fire. And about two shades of brown for the trees and one shade of brown for the ground. So it's like soil area. Talking about koalas, right? Recently I've been. When, when I'm down and sick and I couldn't draw, I've been playing Planet Zoo a lot and I am so inspired by all the animals and it makes me want to draw more animals too so I think I won't be running out of content as to what to draw for a while. And you might realize that I've been talking a lot in this video and not using any music at all because music tend to get copyrighted too and and for my past videos, I just realized that the music is like, I don't know, it's louder than my, my voice and you can't really hear what I'm saying. So I'm trying something new here. And I realized there's a lot of empty space at the top left. So I decided to add more flames like, okay, it's a, it's a, they say it's a bushfire, but I was told that it's more of a forest fire as it like, it's a big fire. It's not just bushes, you know, the trees burning too. So. I don't know why they call it bushfire, but uh, here we go. This is my koala art piece, and I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.